Sweet 16 for the first time since 2003, so it had been a long time. They had Melo Trimble back, the outstanding point guard. Do lose four starters off of last year's team, though, so it is... In some senses, a very inexperienced team, but they have leadership and experience at maybe the most important position on the court. And Mark Turgeon with us now here on Big Ten Media Day. Coach, it's so different from where you were a year ago, just in terms of the experience on this team. How does it change the way you coach? Where last year you were dealing with an older group, and this year you're dealing with a younger group in, in many cases. Yeah, it's different. There's no doubt about it. We had a lot of veteran players. We had big bodies. We had a, you know, arguably one of the best starting fives in the country. Um, but uh, this is a lot more teaching. It's a lot more fun for me, to be quite honest with you, this part of the, this time of the year. It's the best time of the year for a college basketball coach, but so many new players, there's a lot of teaching going on. I wasn't around them a lot this summer because I was with USA Basketball, kind of put us behind a little bit. Um, so, but it, it's been great. We've got a lot of great pieces. You know, we talk about Melo Trimble being the only player that's back, but... Monte Dodds played a lot of minutes yep. for us. Checo's played a lot of minutes for us. Deion Wiley's played a ton of minutes. Jared Nickens has played a ton of minutes. So there's a lot of experience there, even though we lost a lot of good players. But the guy who kind of the, the straw that stirs the drink yeah. is Melo and has been for a while yeah. for this program. What did his return mean for you, and, and what have you seen from him early on here? Well, he made the right decision. Um, you know, I, I thought he was going to be better than a lot of the players that were going to be drafted ahead of him, but the NBA didn't feel that way at the time. So he had to come back. The timing wasn't right. He was happy with it. He was thrilled with it. He wanted to come back the whole time, and um, he's, he's, he had the right approach. And, you know, we've won 28 and 27 games since he's arrived, um, and his attitude's great. And so it was big for our program. Uh, we came to Maryland to be terrific, to be great every year. And he allows us to do that, especially early in the season while we're, the young guys are getting better. Now, the expectation last year for Melo coming into the season was almost unrealistically high. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there was almost a point where he could not perform as well as he it was expected to yeah. perform. But there were multiple games. I mean, Diamond Stone going for, what, 39, 39 points against Penn State. That was Melo Trimble. Yeah. I mean, where did you see him really improve the most last year where a lot of people out there just didn't see it? Yeah, he had a great year. He his, his assist doubled, yeah. and he averaged 15 and a half points a game. That's a pretty darn good <laughs> year for a sophomore on a, on a well-balanced team where he had to share the ball. So, um, you know, the exp it, it was hard. It, it was hard on the whole team. Um, unless we won the national championship, it wasn't going to be enough. So, uh, and it had been a long time since the expectations have been on Maryland's program mm -hmm. like that. So hopefully, as time goes on, we're in that situation again and we handle it a little bit better but I was proud of last year's team and and what they accomplished but uh Mel had a terrific year he's really improved his leadership skills he's been a great player since he stepped on campus but it was hard for a freshman to tell a senior yes. what to do now he's yeah. a junior we only have two seniors on the team he can really lead he can be himself uh, he's doing a great job in the locker room he's doing a great job back in the apartments uh and he's doing a great job on the court last season you impressed upon us the importance of Dion wiley yeah and, and how much it hurt having him out and, yeah. and i think no one would really bat an eyelash because you had so many other weapons yeah but the truth is he was a key component to your team how much does he not only help your program but help mellow with his ability to handle the ball and make plays yeah he can make plays um and, and where it hurt last year is we couldn't go small. We just didn't have enough guards to, to, to move him down the line. So he's probably 90% now. He's worked really hard. It was a significant yeah. injury and surgery, and um, he's in a good spot right now. Um, but he, he's great in ball screens. Melo's one of the best in the country. Dion's not yeah. far behind. So we'll get Dion a lot of ball screens. He can shoot the ball. Uh, great facilitator, great passer. And uh, he wants to be a lockdown defender. He's not there yet, but he wants to be. So when kids talk that way, that, that's a good sign. When you look at your team this year, there were certainly weapons that you lost, but you're still a balanced attack. Yeah. Do you have that confidence with a guy like Melo coming off of ball screens that you have the balance to be able to score the way you need to score? Yeah, you're going to love this team. Yeah. Uh, we got some good weapons. And uh, this will remind you of our team two years ago. We were able to spread the floor with Jake Lehman at the four, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of good shooters. I think this is the best shooting team I've had. Um, and uh, this Anthony Cowan mm -hmm. uh, is a special player. 
you know, great defender, pressured defender, um, can really push the ball, make guys around him better. He's shooting the ball well. Kevin Herter is a, a tremendous player. Uh, 6'3 when I was recruiting him. He's now he's 6'7. That, that's great. It's not the Admiral a David Robinson story, but it's good for me. Right. And, and um, so he, he's been great. Justin Jackson, another young guy from Canada, is a terrific player. 6'7 with a 7'3 wingspan that can do a lot of things. Actually thinks like a point guard. But this team, the, the, the pieces we have coming back and the pieces that we have brought in they all think the game they make guys around them better they're really good facilitators all of them and they can all score in their own way so it's gonna be a fun team to coach and a fun team to watch one of the interesting criticisms if we look back of Mello was that he was too quiet yeah he, he wasn't strong enough and, yeah. and that really isn't his personality but how have you seen him emerge as more of a vocal leader as you said, whereas a freshman year, even sophomore year, with seniors yeah. on the team, it's really tough to do so. Yeah, he's, he's gotten better. He's still not where he needs to be. Um, he's talking more. He's more comfortable. But until we hit adversity, right now everything's great. Yeah. Unless I'm on him really hard in practice, everything's great. Uh, but when that adversity hits, that's when it's, we're really going to see it. Uh, or if we start out really well, how are we going to handle, you know, prosperity? So um, he's got, he's still got some growing. And if do. it's not Mello, who is it on this team that is your vocal leader? Well, we have quite a few, but, um, you know, I, I think DeMonte Dodds mm -hmm. has stepped up in, in that category. Uh, Jalen Brantley, a guy yeah. we haven't talked yeah. about a lot. He, he's a natural kind of leader, competitive guy, one of the most improved players. Uh, on our team from last season so there's a lot of guys we have a lot of good guys a lot of guys that and, and our, our team truly likes each other and we'll stick together you mentioned some of the freshmen you mentioned Herter and Cowan and Jackson this is a really good class I mean yeah. I don't always think people understand like yeah. hey man these are guys who everyone in the country yeah. wanted and you got a bunch of them here yeah. who's most ready to contribute right away to be someone like Mello was, where not only are they a good player as a freshman, but they could be one of the better players in the league. Yeah, I think all three of those guys that we mentioned um, have a chance to do that in their own way. Um, Cowan can dictate the game defensively, pick up full court. He gives Mello's fits in practice. Um, so he, he can do that. He's a tremendous defender, can push it. Herter can flat out shoot it, and he can really has a great feel passing the ball. He's getting better defensively. This Justin Jackson kid's really good. I mean, he reminds me of a Vince Edwards, um, you know, type player. Um, thinks like a guard, can really pass it. Shot's gotten better. And um, so all three of them are going to have a huge impact on our team. Head coach of the Terps, Mark Tertian, appreciate you sticking around uh, with us. You, you have the shortest yeah, commute right. home, yeah, so you, yeah. you drew the short, short straw, straw from one year. time. Yeah. All right, thank you, coach. Yeah. Much appreciated.